Mark, back then cricket wasn't a very lucrative game, especially when it came to women's cricket. So what was the driving force for you? Love, love of the game, passion. That, that, that's why I often repeated quote of mine those days as the captain of the Indian team. I said, I've said repeatedly, maybe it must have annoyed a few of my male counterparts. <laughs> I, I have said that our law of the game is much more than theirs because we were never paid. In fact, we went out of pocket. I, I, you know, I don't want to, in this age and time when women's cricket has really taken off, I don't want to go dwell in the past where we had to travel unreserved. Second class, third class had gone by then. You know, initially in the 60s, we had first, second, third class. Now they made first and second only. We used, because we were playing knockout games. The minute we lose, we have to leave. So no team ever reserved because we didn't know when we'll be back. So we have had, we have roughed it out, but what kept us going? That, that's the mood question you asked. It was the love, the passion for the game. And I've always said this, even uh, to the point of getting uh, uh, irritating people or uh, making them get bored. What is, people ask, what is your, you know, biggest contribution? I, it's not my century, not my, Arjuna Award. It's not that. It's a fact that as pioneers, all of us laid a solid foundation for women's cricket those days when we had nothing to gain by it, just the pride. And today, the edifice that is built on that foundation, that is the, uh, the prize we have got. You know, we, we may not be uh, we may not have made uh, money like the current day cricketers. In fact, most of us went out of pocket. But no one can take away the satisfaction from us because we laid the foundation. The founding mothers that I feel uh, all of us can pat ourselves on the back. Like you said, ma'am, it's of course uh, something that you should take pride in that uh, you laid the foundation. Like you say, the current generation is bearing the fruit of the seeds that were sown then. Uh, what does it uh, feel like to look at the current generation now? Oh, I feel have... extremely proud, you know, because uh, our efforts have not gone in waste. You see, uh, it's, it's something all of us have accepted because we... We never expected anything in return. As I said, the, the, the driving force was the passion, the love of the game. And uh, during our time, even the men cricketers were paid 250 rupees per day or something. So it, it, it's, it's only, in, I think, in the 90s that uh, even men's cricket saw a lot of uh, money being infused and things today. I'm happy to say I was part of the BCCI Apex Council, the, the decision-making body that decided that women will pay, get paid as much as the male, as their male counterparts for international matches. Today, the women cricketers get paid the same for tests, ODI and T20 as their male counterparts. I even tried then, uh, I said, make it for domestic cricket, mm. equivalent. That's where, you know, uh, a lot of the domestic cricketers do not get um, a taste of the, uh, the money, the, the reward. But then, uh, I didn't want to push it too far. Because, <laughs> but then I feel uh, uh, the current and the previous regime, the BCCI regime have done a lot for women's cricket because uh, uh, they felt and rightly felt because if you see now the way Indian cricket, Indian women's cricket is doing, um, it's a testimony to the fact that uh, I, I think they are uh, uh, telling BCCI you've done the right thing because they're giving us the results 
and nothing uh, um, is sweeter than success.